So last season I installed lights on my kayak and I used this Bluetooth switcher which has four channels in it and comes with this cool looking remote. The problem with this system is that as soon as you plug it in, it's constantly drawing on the batteries. Even though you don't even have the lights turned on, this is still wearing down the battery because it is looking for this remote. And this actually killed one of my batteries. Trash. The same thing with the remote, junk. So what I ended up doing was going out and buying this Yak Power system to power my lights. And what's nice about this system is that um, it has an off and on in the panel. So you can actually turn the panel off and on and then turn the lights off or on. So when, this, when the system is off, it is not drawing from the battery. That's what I should have got in the first place. But the, the thing is, is that that system was $30. This system is $80. But with that said, I also wasted a battery because of that thing. So anyway, today we're going to be installing this into the kayak. So here we go. So I'd like to explain why I went with this in the first place. Um, this system was wireless and I didn't have to drill a two and an eighth inch hole in my kayak, which I'm going to have to do with this system. So with the Yak Power system, this unit gets installed into the boat where this system doesn't. So I don't want to necessarily say this thing is junk. I think if you hook the switch to this, then you'll be fine. Um, but still, if you hook a switch to it, then you're still putting a hole in the kayak. You're gonna have a switch somewhere on your on your boat. So I still think this is junk. Um, this system is a lot, a lot more thought out. I think by Yak Power. This is what the head looks like. Sound nice and clicky. And it comes already ready to go, kind of like in this plug and play type of system, which is nice. Um, the only thing I didn't like about it is that it's only this long. Like this, this piece is only 16 inches. So you'd have to install this pretty close to wherever you're putting this unit. So what I did, is I went out and I actually got an extension. You can buy an extension for this, which looks like this. And it goes on the ends of this, which is gonna put this, which you can put this farther away from the actual switcher itself, which is what I'm going to do. So, oh, I also made a piece of starboard um, to hold the unit itself. It's gonna do something like this. And it's going to go inside my kayak and then I'll hold it's going to be held up like this against the side of, of the hull and I, I did that because I just didn't want to place this just down in the bilge of the, of the kayak I didn't want it to get it submerged in water so let's get all this on the boat so you can actually see what it is and what my thoughts are okay so this is how I want to mount this I'm going to put it like this is what my thoughts are and I'm going to throw a couple of screws right here to hold this in place uh, the first thing I also want to do is I want to make sure that this system actually works before I go through all this so I'm going to plug it in so this is the extension has these connections like this um, and there is actually a gasket on it as well it's a nice watertight seal all right I'll power it up and see what happens let's see if I have power I don't know if you can see it yes there is power 
I can hear the switch going on. I can hear it clicking. Okay, so the system does work. Okay, so what my plan is now is as far as these connections are concerned, is I went out and I bought this from AutoZone. This is a quick disconnect for a boat trailer. And they actually plug right into this, as you can see. So I didn't I did not want to cut these off. So what I am gonna do is I'm gonna plug this in and I'm gonna cut these. This is where I'm gonna butt connect these together, right here. And I am only using two channels right now. I'm gonna use one and I am gonna use two. One being all of the running lights and two is going to be the white lights that I would use in case I wanna photograph a fish. So let me start doing the wiring. Okay, so I, I cut it and I already stripped the wire. Um, I have crimpers on these already with some heat, heat shrink tube. And I bought the crimps at AutoZone as well. So just like that. Like so. So, make sure they're in there, they're not going to come out. I have this little torch which I use to shrink it, the shrink tube. So now this is going to plug into one, just like that. Okay, there's one side done. Now I'm going to do the same exact thing with this one. All right, now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to heat the shrink up. Now this one's going to be plugged into number two. Um, at this point, before I start cleaning up all the wires and stuff, um, I'm going to plug everything everything in. And the reason for that, I want to make sure things are working before we go any further. So power on. This sh this should turn on. The running lights, which it does, they're all running. This one is going to turn on the secondary lights, which it is, which are the white lights that are in the cockpit. I'm just trying to keep it symmetrical with the lights. So now I need to install this. So the instructions say to use a two and an eighth inch hole saw. That's what this is. And before I drill a hole in the boat, I am going to drill it out in a piece of cardboard to make sure that the hole is the right size. It is tight, but it is it's exactly what it is. It is tight though, which is good. 
Um, what's nice about this is that it has a rubber gasket all the way around it. And that's what seals it. So you don't have to put any goop behind it, any silicone or anything. And how this works is once you put it in the hole, you turn these screws and what happens is that this little ear comes out. See it? And then that's what grabs the back. That's what grabs the back of the plastic and pushes this in. So the reason that you want it to be two and an eighth is because the tolerance is pretty small. Okay. So now let's get the location of where I want to go. I know I'm, I'm going right over here. This is where I'm going to go. And I want it between the center of this, the light, and this. Um, on this particular kayak, there's actually a round right here. So and on your kayak, make sure if you're installing this, you stay off of the round. You want this to be flat. You need a flat surface. And I'm going to make a hole right here. This is where it's going to live. That's where it's going to live. you want to do after you've got the hole is you want to clean it. I got a utility knife for that. It actually made a really nice clean hole. And you want to get rid of any of these little any of these little hairs of plastic on here because you want that gasket to sit firm on there. Since we're at this stage, I'm going to stop for a minute and I'm going to get a vacuum and I'm going to clean all this up because now we're just getting ready to install and um, I want a clean area to install everything. So I got the kayak all vacuumed out. Now I am going to fish the wire through. And how I'm going to do that is I am going to put a piece of metal on this thing. So what this is going to do, I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to take this magnet from underneath and I'm gonna drag it where I need to go. And that's how we do that. Um, also like to mention this piece that you cut right from here you want to save this because you can actually um, use this as a patch so if there's any little nicks or screw holes you can actually take some of this off and melt this back onto the boat so you want to save those now I'm going to start feeding this in some more like so just get this thing in there. All right, I can see it compressing the gasket, so I know it's, it's tightening. And I'm going to go all the way around, just snugging it up, just to make sure the gasket is getting is being compressed. Because that's what's going to make this waterproof. Okay, let's see what happens. We got power. We got lights. And those are the white lights I was talking about. So, that is the install. And if you are going to be installing the Yak Power, Hopefully this video is very helpful for you and kind of guide you through um, what you need to do. I think the scariest thing about it is drilling a large hole like this into the kayak. 
which is why, like I said in the beginning, um, I wanted to use the other switch. But I am glad that I did. I mean, I already have, these holes are in the kayak already for the lights. So what's the difference between having this hole and this hole? It really is no difference. And these white lights are gonna be really nice for photographing a fish at night. So yeah, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Bye.